Hello everybody. Thanks for joining me today. Joe Kosas here. I'm about to open up the Roland X Edge guitar. And here goes. There we go. Up here, have some screws. This. This. Pops over there. So I'm excited to get this keytar because I tried it out in the store and what I liked about it was that it was light, it looked cool, and it has a bunch of features on it, a bunch of sounds on it, and it has a vocoder. And if you look at any of the other vocoders, kind of in this price point, um, None of them have full-size weighted, well, not weighted, but full-size keys, and also uh, a long run of keys. I believe this has 49 keys, so that's about four octaves, and also the other sound. So, like, the uh, all the other vocoders on the market are more synth vocoder type things. So, anyways, I'm excited to get into this guy and try, and try, try this Axe Edge guitar out. Let's look at this. I This is going to be the other plate. One thing that you may have noticed is that this is this is black on black keys. There are two, uh, two models that it comes out in. Black and white keys and a white body. And I believe the, the plates are different too. I opted for the black on black because I like the look of it and it came with a black or a red um, uh, plate here, and this other plate, I believe, is gray. We'll take a look at it. I can make mistakes. All right, so there's a silver piece there for the front for a different look. Oh, these are silver screws and also an Allen wrench for the screws. Um, for for uh, th this plate, this one has black screws, so you know you could uh, switch out the screws if you want, if you're into that. But what really attracted me to this keyboard was the look of this keyboard. Like all the other keytars that I see out there, just don't look as cool as this. I mean, this thing looks like, like an ax. It looks cool. Okay, we've got the strap here, and we've got the owner's manual. These are the um, volume knob and control knob. So the uh, the knobs up here, these two knobs, apparently uh, are hard to turn because they they come with these extra. They seem like kind of foam rubber rings that you can put on the outside that will help you turn them. What else do we have here? We got power. This, boom. So this is one of the ones where you plug into there. There you go. And we have power. So I think that's all the pieces out of the box. Hello again, everybody. I am going to step into this review of the Axe Edge by Roland. Absolutely love this keyboard. I love that it's light. I love that the programs and the sounds cover a wide variety of stuff. Great lead sounds, great synth lead sounds that are all built in already. It has a great ba acoustic bass sound on it. There are a ton of, like, I guess, vintage key sound, like Rhodes, Oregon, Wah. Uh, that surprised me actually. The look of it is super cool. The black on black for me doesn't throw me off. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a field player and I, I've just grown, I guess, enough accustomed to it that it doesn't bother me. Um, super light. Nine and a half pounds. As you can see here, I actually have it on a keyboard stand and that's how I've been using it. Uh, I actually have been using the keytar 
feature of it, so to speak. What's, what's cool about it too is that when the keyboard is in this setup, from this angle, it still looks like a normal keyboard. Uh, it doesn't look like a weird looking keytar. I mean, this part comes out a little bit, but it still, it, it looks like a normal keyboard. So I actually feel really comfortable bringing it on tour with me and putting on stage. So the input and output type stuff, um, standard stuff, stereo outputs, the Bluetooth feature. So it, it, it connects with your phone and with your phone, you can program the keyboard. I actually haven't gotten into it that much. All the presets sound great. Uh, I guess the, that option is, 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 is a nice feature. To get wireless, some thoughts that I've had are to use the battery and to use two stereo wireless units so that you can get a stereo uh, wireless sound going. Another thing that you could do is use a Bluetooth, a wireless Bluetooth. Um, the range on it would be short, but if, uh, if you don't have too far to go, that's another way to get wireless as well. Best yet, the vocoder. So out of all the, um, I think I mentioned this before, but out of all of the keyboards that are in this price range, I just think that this vocoder is wonderful. 49 keys to work with, full size keys, and you can put vocoder on any of the sounds as it's advertised. I haven't had a chance to play with it yet. I think the, the presets for the vocoder are wonderful. Here's the vocoder sound. I like this, the robot uh, preset that's on here. Another issue that other vocoders uh, will have a problem with, uh, besides small keys and a short keyboard, is also polyphony. Uh, this one really. It's really, it's really letting the notes uh, play through. I actually have been using the, um, have clipped on a stage ninja onto the side uh, so I can put the vocoder on it and uh, there are places to put the stage ninja on. It's wonderful. So uh, another great thing about this keyboard is that it has a short throw. So the action on it uh, is, is very small and uh, uh, so, so I, I just feel like I can play real fast on it. The buttons that are here on the back are, are, are wonderful and uh, easy to get to with your left hand. The arpeggio feature is cool, the whole feature is cool. Love this keyboard, love the look of it. It looks super cool, super hip. There you have it, the Roland Axe Edge. Absolutely love it. A thousand dollars, you can't go wrong. A bunch of sounds that you could use for a corporate gig, top 40 gig, uh, an original project, and then a vocoder, and it can also be a key, well, it is a keytar, and a cool look to it too. Love this keyboard. Thanks guys, thanks for watching, and till next time, bye bye.